Hello friends, with Easter being over, it is the absolute perfect time for us to practice this next discipline, which is found in chapter 4 of Foster's book, Celebration of Discipline. This next discipline that I would like for us to participate in as a community together is the practice of fasting. John Wesley has been quoted as saying that some have exalted fasting beyond all scripture and reason and others have utterly disregarded it. Vulnerably, I must confess that fasting is a practice that I struggle with and it is mostly disregarded in my life. Perhaps it's because I'm Mediterranean and I love my food way too much. Or perhaps food controls me. But whatever the reason, it is not my area of strength. Perhaps you too struggle with this practice. Then I would like to encourage you that you are in good company as we engage in this practice together. Right now, you might be wondering, well, what is a fast? Well, a fast is abstaining from food for spiritual purposes. It is not a weight loss strategy or a diet plan, but rather a starving of your flesh to better focus your attention on God. With that being said, I would like to invite you friends to participate along with me in a one day a week fast for the month of April. So every Thursday for the month of April, I would like us to fast together. Please feel free to decide what that fast looks like for you personally. Perhaps it's a partial fast and you have chosen to abstain from eating meat and starch and to eat only fruit and vegetables. Or perhaps it's a full fast where you are abstaining from all food and drink except for water. Fasting is primarily related to the abstinence of food. But in our contemporary culture, it is also exceptionally necessary for us to fast from social media and technology. These fasts also involve the denial of our normal functions for us to focus our attention on God. We are all on a journey with regards to our practices. So please don't feel any shame around where you are on the journey but rather embrace it and just continue to practice with fasting. Church, as Christ followers, we deeply desire to become like Jesus. And one of the ways that we can become like Jesus is by doing what He did. Right throughout Scripture, we see that Jesus fasted. And if Jesus fasted, how much more do we need to fast? Jensen Franklin says it like this, the Son of God fasted because He knew there were supernatural things that could be released that way. How much more should fasting be a common practice in our lives? Throughout the month, I would love to know how you are doing with your fasts. So please comment below or WhatsApp our church number as I would love to pray for you as we journey together. Also, if you would like more information on fasting, then please see the links below. Have a blessed month, friends, as we turn our attention to God and away from our desires.